Hi friends, this is Aditya and welcome to my YouTube channel Ocean of Code. Today in this video we are going to learn about full outer join which is also called as full join. You might get a question as we learned there were only three kinds of joins. The first one is inner join, second one is left outer join, the third one is right outer join. Then from where this join came from? Actually there is no such keywords in MySQL like full outer join, but it is kind of jugad made by us. Okay. As name suggests, it is full outer join means logically we should get all the matching rows as well as unmatching rows from two tables, right? That's what this definition says. Okay. Now let's understand the syntax. See guys, syntax for left outer join then we have to add this union keyword and then syntax for right outer join for understanding i wrote this syntax actually okay let's understand it with the help of when diagram so that we will be clear about it see guys uh, there are two ellipses college 1 and college 2 and as we know there are few matching rows so this is that part now let us say after taking left outer join or right outer join we will be getting this matching rows right so let us fill it with one color i am filling it with this color okay now let us say i am taking left outer join so we will be getting matching rows as well as left rows all the rows from college one now let us take right outer join okay in that we will be getting matching rows plus all the rows from college 2 now don't you think if we apply union operation on this we should get full outer join nothing but all the rows for all the columns of two tables isn't it so let's see again let's have a look at actual syntax then we will go for example okay so this is the actual syntax looking like messy so let me make it easy for you see guys this is these four lines are nothing but syntax for left outer join okay select from left outer join on union we have to add union keyword okay just for your information i did not give semicolon here okay syntax then union then syntax for right outer join and at the end semicolon so this this is complete one query okay now let's look at our example see guys this is college one on left side college two on right side so this is left table this is right table there are four rows in college one there are five rows in college two now let us say after taking left outer join or right outer join we will be getting first second third rows of college one as well as first second third rows of college two as they are matching right their lecturer ids and student ids are matching now what about id 7 and lecturers id 6 and 9 in left outer join we will be getting 7 in right outer join we will be getting 6 and 9 in full outer join we should get all of them right now let's see see guys our output will look like this now let's understand how it happened as we discussed first second third rows they'll come right because they are matching so we, we won't be getting null values in first three rows now what about this 7 see student id 7 as it is not present here we should get null values for the columns which we asked from college 2 so as expected we got null values there as these two column columns belongs to this table now there are these two rows whose lecturer id is 6 and 9 okay for them we should get null values for the columns in college one so again as per our expectation we are getting null values 
for these two columns as they belong to college 1 and we are getting values from college 2. Okay, now let's understand with the help of SQL query. As you know, again I'll be using Mumbai University database. So Mumbai University. I know you are knowing like there will be three tables and I'll be using first two of them. Okay. So let's check the data of first two tables. College one, college two. This is the same data which we saw in this word file. Okay. Now let's execute the query. Again, uh, just for revision sort of thing. See, this is the syntax. Syntax for left outer join, then union, then syntax for right outer join. So, left outer join syntax. Select which columns we want. As we want four columns, I am writing them here. College one dot student ID comma college one dot student name comma college two dot lecturers hometown comma college two dot lecturers salary from college one left outer join right hand side table which is nothing but college 2 on which columns college 1 dot student id which is equals to college 2 dot lecturers id okay now it is visible right space union keyword and now we are going to write syntax for write outer join so we wrote columns which we want the same columns I wrote here from left hand side table right outer join right hand side table on college one dot student id is equals to college two dot lecturers id i hope we should not get any error oh great see guys this is the same output which we calculated here right null values here for this karina thing Okay, as it is not present here, we are getting null values for the columns from uh, college 2. So, that was it in this video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Okay, bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.